need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. When the time comes to pay your sales tax, you must use the pay sales tax window to write a check to your tax agency or agencies. You open the pay sales tax window by selecting vendors from the menu bar, rolling down to the sales tax command, and then choosing the pay sales tax command. In the pay sales tax window, use the pay from account dropdown to select the bank account to use for the sales tax payments. Then enter the date to print on the payment checks into the check date field. You can then use the show sales tax due through calendar selector to choose the date through which you need to pay the sales taxes collected. If the check is to be printed, then check the to be printed checkbox at the bottom of the window. Otherwise, you can uncheck the box and then enter the starting number of the check issued into the starting check number field. At this point, the list of taxing agencies to whom you owe tax will be displayed in the Pay Sales Tax window. You can select the agencies to pay by clicking into the Pay column to the left of the agencies that you need to pay. Once you have your selections made, click the OK button to have QuickBooks automatically create the tax payment checks. QuickBooks also updates your sales tax report and sales tax payable register to show your payment. Note that you must pay your sales tax using this method in order for QuickBooks to accurately update the sales tax information for each taxing authority. Do not simply write a normal check for the amount due in the Write Checks window and attribute it to your sales tax payable account. Doing this will disrupt the way in which QuickBooks tracks the individual amounts collected and paid for each sales tax authority. Another point worth noting is that if you need to adjust the amount of sales tax due to an authority shown within the Pay Sales Tax window, you can select the Sales Tax Entry to Adjust from within this window and then click the Adjust button to open the Sales Tax Adjustment window. Here you can enter a date for the adjustment into the Adjustment Date field. Then you can enter a number for the adjustment entry into the Entry Number field. You then select the Sales Tax Authority whose amounts you need to adjust by selecting the name from the Sales Tax Vendor drop-down. You then select the account used to track the adjustment from the Adjustment Account drop-down. Then in the Adjustment section, select either the Increase Sales Tax By or Reduce Sales Tax By option button as appropriate. You then enter the amount of the adjustment into the amount field. To then add the adjustment line item entry into the pay sales tax window so that you can select it for payment along with your original entry for the authorities, just click the OK button. Then in the pay sales tax window, make sure that that adjustment is also marked in the pay column as well. To then generate the checks, simply click the OK button. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.